Hello everyone and thanks for joining. So in this particular video we are going to do AWS Glue practical part. So in previous video we have understand about the theoretical part for the AWS Glue. So in high level we can say AWS Glue generally we use for the ETL activity in a cloud. So in this particular video we have one of the requirement based on the requirement we will try to create one data pipeline and we will see how actually AWS Glue works in a AWS space. So let us try to understand the requirement. So we have a data that is available in Amazon S3 in a CSV format. So it is a very simple requirement. You have one of the S3 bucket. Their data is available in a CSV format. What actually you had to do? You had to create one AWS Glue pipeline, which will take a data from uh, this CSV format and this will transfer this data in a JSON format and it will store in it another S3 bucket. Means you had to read the data from a S3 bucket you have to convert into JSON format and you have to store in another S3 bucket. So that is the requirement. So that actually we are going to do in this particular video. So let me open my AWS screen. First thing we will go to the S3 buckets. Search for the S3. We will create one bucket first and then we will try to store a data. Click on the create bucket give any bucket name to practical something name I will give okay and the bottom I will just click on the create bucket so this is the bucket which got created in this particular bucket what I will do I will try to upload my file so this is the sales txt or csv format data which is available so that I will try to upload. So this is one of the bucket where our data is available. AWS Glue Practical Lab. Now what I will do, I will create another bucket and there I will try to store my JSON data. Okay, so I will give the bucket name. I am creating another bucket. Glue JSON bucket something name I will give. In this bucket, our GSV to JSON data will get stored. So I have one bucket glue practical here data is available in a TST format. I have another bucket to JSON bucket and here our output file will be available. Once we will create a glue pipeline. Now once you have this right. So let's start creating a glue pipeline. So first I will search for the glue in a search bar search for the glue AWS glue open that. So once you will open AWS glue this particular screen you will see. In the left side you can see you have a multiple option data catalog data integration ETL and all so first thing is like first thing we are going to create a crawler so what this crawler will do this crawler will go to your Amazon S3 bucket it will try to scan your data and then it will try to give you a schema and it will try to store in this particular table so for that first thing is to create a crawler how actually we can create a crawler click on this crawler click on the create crawler give a crawler name so we are giving the crawler name as a sales you can give any name next after that you have to specify your data source so we are going to create, select add a data source so where your data is available our data is available is Amazon S3 so we will select that if you have a data that is available in another source like DynamoDB JDBC connection you can select from here also now after that network connection is optional after that we have to select the S3 path so where actually your data is available so we will select this browse S3 so this is the particular bucket where our data is available right so we will select that so we will select this particular bucket and we will select the ok after that give the slash and the create all subfolders so we get a multiple option so suppose in your particular bucket you have a multiple folders and all the folders if you want to scan your data so you can select the create all subfolder or any specific folder now based on any event you want to scan so that actually you can select so we are selecting only the bucket and we are giving the slash we'll click on the add on s3 data source after that you can see we have a custom classifier so suppose we want to give any classifier so that actually you can specify from here like what is your uh, classifier name so let me give the classifier name also 
and what is the format so our data is available in a csv right so we will select the csv format and it is the comma separated and this kind of the option you can select and after that you have to click on the create so classifier also we have given and after that we will select from here classifier this is the sales one so i will select that this is the classifier name go to the next after that we are going to create a im role so we will click on the create new im role because we are going to create a new im role and what is the so i will give the sales project something you can give any name so that you can identify, identify it and after that we will refresh it and the sales project this is the im role i will select later if any permission is required we can add that and after that the database first thing we have to create a database so that our schema we can store in any table so we'll click on the add a database give the database name so i'll give a database name as a sales project and click on the create database so this is the sales project database we have created and from here we can select that sales project this is the database where i want to store my schema and after that you can see crawler schedule so we get a multiple option you want to schedule your crawler on hourly basis daily weekly monthly you can select from here as of now i will go on the on demand so means you want to run on crawler on hourly monthly weekly basis that you can select that and after that click on the next and you can see this are the property which you have set up the type also we have selected the csv and click on the create crawler now after that go to the crawler and you can refresh this so that you will be able to see your crawler so this is the sales crawler we have created select that and click on the run now you can see a starting crawler your crawler is starting once the crawler will complete right what actually it will happen left side you can see in the database you have a sales project right go to the table in the table one table will get created with all your schema and that schema is nothing but it is a reading a data from your amazon s3 and it will try to create one table and it will try to score your schema so that is the advantage you get with the help of the crawler so let's see let's see it to be completed and then we'll see now you can see crawler is completed and you can see in the right side right one table got created it is showing now what we will go to left side you go go to the table you press it you will see this is the particular table which got created and here we should be able to see the schema so if i will show you my file so this is the file which i have customer id product name and the sales what actually it did it tried to scan your data source and it will try to give you are the schema like it automatically detected the column name customer id and it detected as a integer product name it detected as a string and the sales it is detected as a integer and here also you can see customer id product name and the sales we have so that is how actually it automatically predict the schema of your table after that what we will do in the left side the data catalog we have created right now what we will do below you can see etl jobs so click on the etl jobs now we will try to create a pipeline now once you will click on the etl job set you can see this particular option so here you get a multiple option visual etl or through a notebook you want to create or through a script you want to create so first we will see the visual etl one so i will click on the visual etl now you can see here it is showing option like source transform target and the popular so we are going to create a etl pipeline so for that first we should select the source and if you want to perform any transformations so for that you have to select the transform and then you have to select the target so what is our source source is amazon s3 so i will select that transformation if you want to perform any aggregation if you want to perform any drop duplicates so for that you can select the transformation option in the next video we will see more about the transformation but as of now our target is like 
transform a data from a source to the target from a CSV to the JSON we have to do so I will directly go to the target I will select the Amazon S3 so in a visual way you can see this is the data pipeline which we are going to create so first I will select the source we have to do a setup what is the name name you can give any name here so I will select the Amazon S3 source what is the source type source type is the data catalog which we have created so that we will select first you have to select the database so sales project is the database which we will select here the table you have to select so this is the table we have created now in the left side you have to select the IM role and you will be able to see your data whether it is working fine or not so select that and now you can see data preview you are you will be able to preview your data so customer ID product name and the sales we are able to preview our data means our source is now ready now I will select the target so I'll click on the target format on which particular format we want to save so I will select the JSON name you can give any name so name we have given format we will save as a JSON format compression if you want to compress data you can select that but as of now I will select the none after that you have to click on the save so you can give you can say here it is giving error you have to first assign the job name so I will give the job name as a sales after that I will click on the save your glue job is now ready but before that first you have to give the target location also s3 target location so click on the browse s3 and where actually you want to save we want to save in a glue json bucket so this is the bucket where we want to save now you can see the target also it is showing the green mark after that click on the save now your glue job is ready go to the script you can see automatically script got generated so that is the advantage we get so with the help of the visual itself our script got generated and here we can do a modification if any requirement is there so that is the advantage we get after that what we will do click on the job details and we will try to set up our job we will try to set up our job so first thing is to give a IM role so this is the IM role we have created so what we will do we will try to assign a policy here we will try to assign a Amazon S3 read and write access so I will open a IM role here open in a new tab go to the in the left side you can see roles right select the roles search for the role you have created so I'll search AWS glue sales project right so I'll select that add a permission click on the add permission as of now only the glue service role is available I'll try to attach a policy here so what is the policy I want to attach I want to attach a Amazon S3 full access so that is the policy I am going to give here Amazon S3 full access click on the add permission now our glue is our roles are ready we have a permission here now go to the glue job again so this is the IM role we have selected and the bottom you can see the language we are using a python worker type we have selected the g1x as of now and the worker we will select only the two because as of now we are only doing a practical and we only have a limited data and if you want to set up any retry if any job failure is happening you can set up from here the job timeout is also there if you select on the advanced property you will see uh, there are few logs are also getting generated whenever you will run your glue pipeline so that is a particular path you can select from here now your job is ready click on the save go to the run option in a run you can run your job so go to the run now after that you can run your job so first let me refresh this as of now no, jo no job is there we are going to run that right so I just click on the refresh first either you can run manually or you can schedule it also so this is the schedule option we have so you can schedule also but as of now we are going to run it manually so click on the run job 
now your job will start running and what it should do it should save your data in amazon s3 bucket in a json format so once you complete your project try to delete your crawler try to delete your job so to avoid unnecessary jobs so that's how we will do a practical so that's thing you have to remember so as of now it's running state once it will complete your data should be available in a s3 bucket in a json format so that is our requirement if any error will come we will try to debug that now you can see it is succeed now so what we will do we'll try to search for the s3 and we'll try to see whether it got saved or not open link in a new tab s3 bucket we'll go there and where actually we have said this is the json bucket where actually we want to have so this is the file which got saved so we'll select that and we'll try to save that click on the open and we will give any name dot json or something so this is the file which is available now we will try to read that so this is what we have so let me open this now you can see it got converted in a json format and it is available that what was our source file source files was available in a csv format so we have converted in a json format means our glue pipeline is running fine so that is how actually we can create a pipeline and uh, if you want to schedule you can schedule that and transformation thing we will see in the next video that's it in this video thanks for watching